Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends Iron Man Wave Hologram uh, Iron Man. So here is the front here with that Iron Man logo, uh, with that Hologram Iron Man. Marvel Legends logo on top, here's the side art of uh, Hologram Iron Man. Here's the back with that same art there, and if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here is the Marvel Legends logo on top here. There's the Build-A-Figure, which is Ursa uh, Major. And then it comes with the uh, Modular Iron Man, Volts Guardsman, uh, Stealth Suit Iron Man, Dark Star, Iron Heart, which we did, Hologram Iron Man, which we're doing, and then Ultron. And then here's the other side. Here's the bottom with the DCPI. And then here's the top with the Iron Man logo furnished on top. But besides that, let's crack them open. Here is Hologram Iron Man uh, package here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, you get Ma Ursa Major's head, which we'll go over once we build them. And then you get two of these blast effects here with the deep blue uh, transparent plastic here. So this is the same uh, blast effects that we've been getting ever since uh, Captain America Civil War, I believe. So yeah. And then, like I said, you get two of those. Uh, you get two fisted hands here, so they're nice transparent plastic blue with some white lining around the edges here. And you get that same sculpt from Captain America Civil War here. So, yeah. So you get two of those hands. And then here we have the figure. So the whole body is the same mold as the Captain America Civil War Iron Man Mark 47, I believe, and then Mark 49 from Homecoming, or Mark 48, I believe. I'm not quite sure. It's either Mark 46 or 7 for Civil War, and then Mark 48 or 9 for Homecoming. But, uh, so yeah, it's completely transparent blue plastic here, um, with some uh, white outlining across it, so around the edges, so for the mouth, ch uh, chin here, all the way across, nothing, no outlining in the back. I wish they could have done that, would have been smart for some more detailing, but they only got for the front side here. So yeah, on the abs here, knees, legs here, thighs, calves, I meant shins, and then front of the foot there, same thing on the other side. Pretty crisp lines. And then shoulders, biceps, down the forearm, and on that hand here. He comes with, uh, each hand comes with the repulsor uh, blast effect hands. You can see that it's completely transparent plastic, except it's a little blue tinted. But yeah, and you get the white eyes. Arc reactor is completely whited there so yeah there's not a whole lot of detail to go talk about it really but let's go over the articulation for him so first his head can hinge down that far he can hinge up he can hinge up farther there you go up that far he can look left and right not no head pivoting shoulders can move only move up that far 360 rotation around the shoulder bicep swivel double jointed elbows like it's the same mold so you still get those uh peg holes there uh, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, barely any because of the little pad there on the forehand there gets in the way. 360 rotation around there. He has a ball joint at the pelvis, or not pelvis, at the uh, mid torso. So he can go forward that far, backwards that far, so barely moves. Uh, he can go side to side a bit. 360 rotation there. It's a little clicky, but you can barely hear it. Legs can kick out that far, forward, that far, backwards. A little bit more than normal uh, Marvel Legends. Thigh cut, double jointed knees there, good. And ankles can hinge. All right, I guess it doesn't want to hinge. <laughs> Down that far, and then up that far, nice ankle pivot. And then for comparisons here, here is the Homecoming Iron Man armor next to it. And then you also got the Civil War Iron Man figure from the Giant Man Wave. 
there's that. And then you get the battle damaged Iron Man from uh, the Civil War way, uh, Civil War three pack with Spider Man and Captain America. But yeah, it's the same mold. They used the same mold as these three figures here. I like it though. I mean, it's a good accessory to add in if you're gonna do like a Hall of Armor um, display, which I do have, but I gotta extend it now because of all these new Iron Man figures coming out and uh, the new Mark 85 versus Thanos figure coming and then the Mark 1 coming. There's a bunch of more Iron Man figures coming soon. So yeah, but I am happy about it because then I can put it like in the center where Tony Stark is working on like new designs, which will be cool for like a little uh, stop motion if I wanted to do it, which I probably most likely will when I have time to do it. But yeah. If you have something like that for a display, I do recommend getting them, but I do like the look of it. Uh, I just wish to add in more detail on the backside here. Um, if, and this would be cool if you could take off the head. Let me go grab it real quick. So I was trying to say if you, if you were able to switch off the heads from the AI Spider-Man, I mean Iron Man figure um, from the Shang-Chi wave, uh, that would have been nice, but apparently the head, the little hole for the ball joint is a little too small to do that. And the blue is a little bit different. This one is more like a trans, uh, more like a turquoise blue, whereas that one's like a ocean blue. So sadly, you cannot do that. It would have been smart to do it, but they also had to make a big enough uh, ball joint from the uh, Civil War Iron Man armor. Uh, figure so I guess there wasn't much to do on that but it would have been cool if they were able to match the color of this and then you could switch off heads and then you can use it for like a little story or something but uh yeah um like I said do recommend it if you're gonna do like a hall of armor um diorama or uh display like I am but I just gotta extend it like I said I will once I get bigger shelves um, and then once I move uh, for Iowa State. So yeah, um, there, but besides that, I think it's a pretty cool figure to have. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So make sure you guys check out my link tree in my description. Uh, it has my TikTok, it has my Amazon wish list, uh, it has my Twitter, Instagram, uh, and a few other things, Twitch. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So thank you for watching.